something talk something about the life of King David and um, of course I'm David my son also his middle name is David yeah, middle name David and it's first name is from Jeremiah the prophet uh, today we want to thank God for the word and there's some lessons we can learn from the word right there's some lessons we can learn from the word um, so we want to thank God because um, you know, David was was king in Israel, and um, there was a time when he had a son named Absalom, and Absalom, his son, decided that he was going to become king even before his father is dead. But you know that's not how it's supposed to be, right? One is supposed to pass off before the other one takes over. But Absalom apparently wasn't so sure if he would be the one who was going to take over. So he said, I'm going to take it by force. And he um, had a lot of people who were with him because he was a prince. Right? He was well known. He was a, he was a hot guy. You know, he was um, a star, as it were, a beauty, beauty guy. Um, what do you call it? Um, um, what do you call it? Well, anyway, he was a hot fellow. He was a macho fellow. And the Bible said he had long, long hair that, I mean, they could cut the hair and wait. There's so much here what he had. But the scripture tells us that when Absalom decided to revolt against his daddy, right, um, he got some people who were close to his daddy, who were like his daddy's right arm. They were his, um, his advisors and people who were dependent on, and in David's hour of need, they turned their back on him, and they went with his son. In a sense, you would say like, well, it's his son, but his son did not uphold the values of the father, you see, because Absalom was, he was David's son, yes, but he was a person, an evil man. The Bible tells about Samuel, who that Samuel was one of the most righteous men on record. You know, the Bible is full of a lot of evil men, and some of them are, are righteous, upright men. Samuel, I mean, Job, and, and um, Moses, you know, you know Jeremiah, these you know, star words in the Gospel, Daniel. But the Bible tells you that, that, um, that Samuel's sons were, took bribes. They were crooks. You see, and, and not like him, and the people tell me, say, yeah, we know you're an honest man, you're an upright man, you've never done anything wrong with us, right, from a youth up, but your sons, they're no good, right? And, and my dad used to talk about it, and he said, like, it, it's amazing how you have such a, a good man, and all his sons, his sons started to be rotten. They were using their, 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 their position to make money. Right, and, and, and not to uphold the, the laws of God. So so was Abs Absalom. He was not upholding the law of God. And under him, the nation of Israel was going to crash. I don't want to say nothing more about that. <laughs> because that, it, it is what's going on in politics today. Right? Under Absalom, the nation of Israel was, was going to crash. Okay? And David was still alive. And David could, could not afford for that to happen. But the Bible tells you, that when David 
I forgot to put up the scripture there, but I have it there. It's um, it's Second Samuel. Um, it's Second Samuel.